Charles Krauthammer, before he died, made note of the fact that socialism was on the dustbin of history just a generation ago, just even 20 years, 10 years ago. You could have labeled somebody a socialist and it was... It was right, the, the S word. The, the S word, it was the thing that would undo them, their reputation. And yet, this last election, we've seen a remarkable influx of new, young, in some cases not very bright, socialists who, and we saw Bernie Sanders' campaign in the previous presidential election. Socialism is making a comeback. Why? Well, I'll answer you with a biblical reference because I, uh, I, I make the argument frequently that I, I realized very early in my life when I was at Columbia University for graduate school that I was being taught uh, nonsense by bright people and that the, the, the university was permeated by nonsense, as they are today, too. Like, men and women are basically the same. The Soviet Union and the United States were equally responsible for the Cold War. I mean, it's just endless nonsense. And then I, I, I came to this epiphany, the only time I had one in my life, and that is, hmm, uh, the, the famous line from, uh, from uh, either Psalms or Proverbs, I always forget, wisdom begins with fear of God or fear of the Lord. And I realized, oh, I know why there's no wisdom at Columbia, because there's no God at Columbia. And then I realized that without the Bible, uh, there was no more wisdom in the Western world. All, all Western wisdom came from the Bible. So now to the answer to your question. So there's, I, I, I'm writing this five-volume commentary on the first five books to show people how great the Bible is. It's purely rational. I call it the rational Bible. So in the first volume, which was the second book of the Bible, Exodus, I point out, there's a very famous line, at least among those who know the Bible. And there arose a new pharaoh in Egypt who did not know Joseph. Joseph had just saved uh, Egypt from starvation, but a new pharaoh arose who did not know Joseph. Collective memory is, a, is like amnesia. So you're asking how 10 years ago, socialist was a, was a, a pejorative, and now 49% of, of millennials say they're, they're socialists and almost all the Democratic nominees for president. So there is a generation that arose that did not know socialism because they have enforced ignorance as the atrocities of socialism in the 20th century. So socialism has failed economically every time it's been tried, no exceptions. But the proponents say the reason it really hasn't worked is because the church and the family stood opposed against it. And so Marxist socialism argues we've got to deconstruct the church and the family to make a way for socialism to rise to be this utopia, this long-promised utopia. There's evidence that that's underway, isn't there? I mean, the attacks on parental authority, the attacks on the church oh, and the Oh, here I synagogue. go back to my Bible commentary. So I am asked very frequently, what do I think the most important of the Ten Commandments is? Honor your father and mother. The left understands that parental authority is a big impediment to leftism succeeding. You can now, if you are a girl who considers yourself a boy, you can have a surgeon remove your breasts at the age of 16 without your parents' permission. Yep, they know. It's part of the reason they want to give 16-year-olds the vote. They have, they're abolishing the distinction between young and old. It's interesting, that commandment too, honor your father and mother, is the only one that has a promise attached to it. Only one with a reward. It's the only way you will live on your land. That's correct. It's really an undermining of another biblical principle, isn't it? Is that is we're all called to be submissive to those that God's placed in authority over us. So it's a, not only is it a hierarchy to be above us, but there's a, you know, we're called to submit right. to the legitimate. Right, the irony is they want us submissive to them. Yes, that's right. Well, that, yeah, that's right. That, that's the irony. Once they've eliminated yeah, everything that's else, exactly then right. you then can you get be, a totalitarian regime. Then, then you can be submissive to we, us. You don't have freedom where kids don't honor parents. That's the irony. Because somebody is going to take up the role of the parent. And what they want is the state. You're left with the state.